But remember we all heard about the Wuhan uh, the seafood market? He said, no, that's not where it started. Where the, where the first cases start are very close to the Wuhan Institute. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Benny. So in what should have been the biggest story in the world, but unfortunately, we live in the dumbest timeline, and so real news doesn't matter, a COVID-19 Chinese scientist from Wuhan who worked inside of the Wuhan Virology Laboratory where they were doing coronavirus experiments on bats, mutating the viruses found inside of bats to make them infectious to humans and then infecting humans with those viruses. <sighs> okay, here we go. Let's go. That scientist is saying, oh yeah, COVID was a bioweapon. Oh, all right. Got it. What are we reading from here? Infowars? Nope. Weather.com. Weather Channel. What? Huh? Oh my God. COVID virus was intentionally developed as a bioweapon, Chinese researcher claims. Deadly COVID, SARS-CoV-2. The virus behind COVID-19 was deliberately engineered as a bioweapon in China, claimed the research at the infamous Wuhan Institute of Virology. In an interview conducted by Chinese-born human rights activist Jennifer Zhang, Xiao Zhao made a shocking revelation about the pandemic's origins. The researcher, Xiao Zhao, shared the incident involving another researcher, at the Institute, uh, who admitted to being provided with four strains of coronavirus by a superior to test and determine which one had the greatest potential to infect human species, according, including humans. Xiao Zhao mentioned that several of his colleagues were sent to hotels accommodating athletes during the World Military Games that were held in Wuhan as a pretext for checking the health and hygiene conditions or being patient zero. The true origins of the pandemic which claimed the lives of 7 million people worldwide, remains a subject of ongoing investigation. The Fed agencies released a report that was a mewling nothing burger saying that it could have been a laboratory leak or it could have been a natural origin. This is, of course, all a fabricated lie. The U.S. government knows exactly what happened. And any molecular biologist can look at the COVID, the original strand of COVID-19, and see the genetic fingerprints where they just clipped and inserted viruses. All these people are protecting Dr. Fauci, and they're all protecting their own funding. This is the Jennifer Zhang account. This is the whistleblower account here that uh, she talks about. Uh, first ever explosive admission. Xiao Zhao, researcher, uh, vice director of the Wuhan P4 lab, was given four strains of coronavirus to select the most infectious one on February 2019. They were artificial, engineered in the lab. They were bioweapons. This is what people have said. This is, okay, this is what Elon Musk has said. This is what Robert Redfield, the uh, CDC director at the time, has said. I mean, listen, man, if you are taking something of natural origin and you're engineering it to be more dangerous and more deadly to the human species, you're turning it into a weapon. That's what you're doing. How you use that weapon is up to you, but that's what you're doing. Now, who ordered the release? That, I think, is very really important. China deliberately engineered coronavirus' bioweapon, Re Wuhan researcher. The claims were made by the Wuhan Institute of Virology researcher. You can go through and study these things, and if you really go down the rabbit hole, as you can uh, find here inside of this, this laboratory, you can find that the people who worked in the laboratory, they went missing, they went and uh, were disappeared. Uh, the original bat lady who's in charge, the COVID-19 base origin virus is from a horseshoe bat that exists in the high caves of eastern China. You have, to, you have to climb up into those caves. They exist far away from humans. Humans should never have contact with these animals. You have to go high up into the caves and like grab them out of the caves. And then you have to, th these bats are the natural or the natural wells of coronaviruses. The coronaviruses don't harm the bats. Nobody quite knows why. But they're, those, these are the animals you have to rip these coronaviruses out of. And then you clip and snip the spike proteins in order to make it uh, transmissible to human beings. This is the kind of research that that goblin Dr. Fauci was doing. It's illegal to do in America, so they just outsource it to China. I mean, quite, quite frankly, if I was the Chinese, I would also be trying to cover this up. I'd be pissed. COVID-19 was engineered as a bioweapon to purposely infect people, claims Wuhan researcher. You could just find article after article after article on this. But the U.S. intelligence agencies, proving uh, worthless as ever, they can't quite figure out what happened. Yeah, we just, we just have the... Uh, 
the labs that we were funding, by the way, we were funding through the Patriot Act, right? Patriot Act was passed, created a bio labs and bio weapons study program. Dr. Fauci got in control of it and drove that car right off a cliff. This is, we're finding out exactly what happened. I mean, it's, it's wild. I wish that we had more time to focus on this because this is a huge, massive international crime that's deserving of the Hague and deserving of uh, tribunals, international tribunals for people like Dr. Fauci to make sure that doesn't happen again. But our mewling U.S. intelligence agencies, of course, do nothing about it because they're complicit in it. U.S. intelligence agencies are complicit in this. They wanted to fund this type of uh, barbaric research, and they just outsourced it to China, just like we do with making of our tires or rubber or our steel. We just outsource it to these filthy hovels in China to do it there so they can affect those people and hurt those people. And indeed it did. U.S. officials released an intelligence report Friday rejecting some of the points raised by those who argue that COVID-19 was released by a Chinese lab, instead reiterating that American spy agencies remain divided over how the pandemic began. Well, if you believe the FBI, the FBI has straight up said, yo, this is a lab leak. We are confident. We know that this is a lab leak. The NIH, National Library of Medicine, National Center for Biotechnology and Information, has an entire peer-reviewed article here about the use of natural diseases outbreaks as bioweapons, okay? So if you're going to call me nuts, go here, and you can see for yourself. Similarities ex exist between bioweapons and viral pandemics that may have allowed this conspiracy theory to seem plausible. As non-conventional, non-kinetic weapons of mass destruction, bioweapons can create the same havoc if, as pandemics. As with a pandemic, a bioweapon attack spreads widely. Healthcare systems could be overwhelmed, perpetuating society, societal panic, as well as frustration, despair, psychological casualties among healthcare workers, adding to the panic. The cycle could only change when a pathogen weakens, natural immunity is strengthened. Hmm. It sounds like a playbook right there. Yeah. So go do your own research. That's what I think. Go do your own research. Tucker Carlson certainly has. And when Tucker Carlson looked into this two years ago, he found that the Chinese, before they locked down all information and destroyed all samples, and then the Wuhan Virology Laboratory was taken over by the military in China, Two Chinese researchers came forward and said they knew exactly what happened. They talked to the people on the ground, they talked to the people who worked in the lab, and they have actually the best ground zero evidence of what properly happened inside of this laboratory. They tell you, and Tucker Carlson found out. Watch. As we told you, Li Yang was one of the first people to tell the truth in the United States, a great personal cause. She was there, she joins us now. Doctor, thank you so much for coming on. You said three years ago, that you believe that this virus was intentionally released by the government you once worked for, the government of China. Today we're hearing in this leak to the Wall Street Journal that it was accidental. Do you believe this leak was accidental or intentional? Hi, Tucker. Thank you for having me again. First, I really want to appreciate you and also Fox News have been taking so much efforts pursuing the truth of COVID origin. Without your help, there won't be such milestone achievement. And I want to tell, of course, it was not an accident. And maybe for people who don't have this kind of biosafety lab three or four uh, experience, uh, experience on coronavirus, maybe it's easy for them to accept the accident and lab leak. However, I'm the scientist working in such lab using coronavirus, and I can tell you, based on the print, uh, protocol and also the other uh, surveillance uh, system, it will be impossible for the lab leak accidentally happened in such lab and caused the Wuhan outbreak and also the pandemic. So definitely, now we just reached to the first step. It was from China's lab, and we need to pursue the uh, truth of origin, and we need to keep going on. We know the Chinese government allowed its infected citizens to travel in huge groups to Western Europe in the early days of the pandemic. That was intentional. But you believe the whole thing, they came up with this virus and they unleashed it on the world to destroy the Western economies and to elevate their own position globally. I want to... Uh uh, emphasize one thing is, I would say based on the evidence and the source I have that the lab, uh, the 
a virus was intentionally brought out of this strict lab and released in the community. However, I don't think the outbreak in Wuhan was intentional. I would say it was because CCP government and military scientists underestimate the transmissibility. That's why finally it got out of control and caused a local, a local outbreak. However, we should know that CCP government intentionally to let it go all over the world to kill millions of people all over the world later. We, we just have to hope and pray that you will be interviewed by many other journalists in this country over the coming weeks. Now that this has been confirmed, you are an eyewitness to it. You have, a, I think, a credible story to tell, and I, and I really hope you're no longer ignored. I appreciate you coming on again tonight. Li Ming Young, thank you so much. Thank you, Tucker.